Hello, everybody. My name is Indented. And we are back with another video of the survey. Now, apparently, when the game crashed last time, it saved. I woke up like I did in the beginning and I had to pick the flashlight up off the ground but the angel statue was still in the closet or in the hallway upstairs so I turned on some lights and came downstairs and the blood is still here I don't remember how I started this. Mine, yeah, I did my intro, I think. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment if you want more phantasmal videos of me being scared for my life in my own home. Okay, I'm so sorry about the flashing lights also. This is where you knock on the door like a crazy... Yep, still kind of scared me a bit. Still kind of scared me a bit. Okay, so P for pause, right? Yeah, absolutely. Alright, Lilith Note 2. This is, uh... Yeah, no one got Marcus a Christmas present. Right on. Resume. You know what that means? Or what I'm supposed to do now. You're locked. Why are you always on? Shut up. Horrible kitchen lighting. Living room lighting. Okay. So... Oh, the statue's gone. Oh, the statue's gone. Oh, God. Oh, the key, finally. I can pick up the key. Oh, God, something's gonna happen. Something is gonna happen. What is the key for? Is it for... Not for that one. It's for that one. Close. This is not a bathroom anymore. What is this place? Is this Marcus's timeout corner? I got a nice shirt on. Look at me styling. There's a. S Why are there tools and such? Oh, the song is playing out there again. May 3rd, 2013. I hate painting. Mom and Dad want me to finish one piece a week. It takes anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day for me to meet that quota, on top of going to school. I tried to tell my dad to slow things down, but he wouldn't listen. Today I tried to stand up to them. I tried telling my him that I didn't have the right color of red, so I won't be able to finish the painting, even though I did. So he called Marcus down. He grunted. So, you don't have the right color of red? You could smell the alcohol from his breath. He took Marcus and he started hitting his him. Until blood started to drip from his nose. And eventually his lips started to tear open. He threw Marcus to the ground and continued to beat him and kick him until he was a bloody mess. He took a can of booze and poured it over Marcus and walked off muttering something. Mom just turned a blind eye and started cleaning up the blood. Marcus sat there unconscious for a bit. 
and I helped him up to his room. He didn't say anything. All he did was smile. He had a wide grin on his face. I stayed with him until he fell asleep reading this book about cars. Lilith. I hate this dad. I absolutely hate this dad. I don't want to exit this closet. But we're back to... Okay. You are the worst. The song is playing. No, 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 no. Is that the living room? Oh my god. Oh no. I didn't turn this light on when I came back down specifically because it's flashy. Oh no, she's crying in the bedroom. Oh. Oh. Bye. Uh. Bye. What? What do I do here? Okay. Alright. I didn't care for that at all. We are going to close that. Is that just supposed to close on its own? Is that why a double dog did that? I don't know, but that can fuck off until we read this document. Oh god. October 1st, 2016. Two bodies were recovered after a fire erupted inside a suburban house near a local elementary school. The fire apparently started late at night as neighbors were the ones to report the incident. Names have not been released, but the victims were identified to be a brother and sister in their late teens. The two were home alone while their mother was on a business trip. The brother was going to high school, also worked a part-time job at a grocery. How the fire started is not clear, but authorities have not ruled out foul play. According to investigators, a candle that was knocked over could have caused the tragedy. Is that the candle downstairs that's been there the whole game? Officials have not ruled out foul play as a cause, but aren't suspicious of it due to the circumstances of the situation. Fucking okay. Why is the light off again? Nope. Why am I so slow? I can't open that. Are you walking towards me? Am I supposed to- Oh, fucking ass! Penis! What? Eight, nine, two, six, four. I get it. I get it. Mm hmm. But if I open the phone, is the game gonna fucking crash again? Why is my view like this? Oh, I was zoomed. Yeah, okay. Eight. Nine. Two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Yeah. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Two. Yeah. Six. Eight, nine, two, six, 
four. Hey, I don't know why you didn't work the first time, but you didn't. And it was kind of stupid. Just saying. Oh, well, she has the right color red now. There's a note in there. The screaming, the crying, can you hear it too? Or... Country? I don't know. Trapped inside these memories with the devil himself. I don't know. I zoomed. I didn't want to. This is the nicest picture in this home. Thank you. Good. Good. Yes. Good. There's no light in this closet. But we're gonna read, so hold on. Lilith Note 4, May 16, 2015. I can't move. Today I woke up and I can't really explain it, but my right hip just feels extremely stiff. I tried to get out of bed, but I can barely turn my body without feeling pain. Update. My parents took me to the hospital, just in case it was severe or life-threatening, but the staff seemed to be clueless as to what I actually have. They said they will need to complete further x-rays, possibly even use an MRI, in order to verify their diagnosis. Hopefully I won't have to paint or anything. <sighs> I also had a really weird dream. I was alone in the house with Marcus, but for some reason he was always afraid of me. Every time I would try to get close to him, he would run away in fear. It was such a weird dream, because in a way, it felt like it lasted forever. Lilith. Oh my god. Am I... Am I in her dream right now? Is this her dream? And that's why I'm scared. Am I in her dream from my perspective? Because that would be insane. That was probably downstairs, right? The crash. Oh. Oh. Okay. I was like, how are you crying outside? I get it. No? Not here? Where was the crash noise then? It was in here? There's two. Oh, yeah, here's the broken stuff. There's two. Okay. Okay. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, bitch. Uh-uh, bitch. No. I would like to read these notes. But not if you're... Ugly crying in the other room again. Slash. Out and about. Because. That would just be the worst. That would just be. The absolute worst. I'm gonna go in my reading corner. You fucking stay out of this room. Marcus note too. my parents took Lilith to the hospital after my sister said she felt immobile around her hip She said it felt completely stiff as if all the muscles surrounding her hip had turned to bone The other day dad threw me down the stairs because Lilith Lilith's paintings 
weren't selling as much as they used to. He thought it was an entertaining way to encourage her to paint better, as he phrased it. I dislocated my shoulder on the way down. After repositioning the joint back into the socket, I made a sling with some old rags I found in the closet. It still stings, but it should heal within a few weeks to a couple of months. Poor fucking dude, man. School isn't too bad. I'm working on this project with some of my friends. We're trying to create our own braking system for a car. Something that can be controlled remotely. I wonder if I can reverse engineer it to do the opposite task and maybe cancel the braking systems remotely. That would be an interesting challenge as long as I don't have to stay home, right? Marcus. Alright. Diagnosis. To the Walker family. We had some difficulty in regard to diagnosing your daughter's specific conditions. But we have concluded that the, it is fi fibro dis fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva. All right. It is a very rare but severe condition where the patient's soft tissue, when repaired, becomes ossified, basically turning into bone. This is due to a mutation in the repair mechanism of the body that results in this condition. There are treatment options to slow down the process of the condition, but I admit the future looks fairly grim. In all honesty, this is what will eventually happen. The disease will spread throughout her body until most of her soft tissue, including tendons, ligaments, and even muscle, become ossified. The most we can do is provide medication in order to relieve the pain, but other than that, the condition has always been fatal. Your daughter might be able to make it to the age of 40, if she's lucky. Please let us know what direction you would like to take. Thank you for your patience, Dr. Gammon. Dude, these kids can't catch a break, man. God, is that what's chasing me around? Is it 40-year-old ossified, tissued, babe, older sis? Is that what it is? If that's the case, I'ma hug you, girl. Feel free to wrap them bony ass arms around me. I don't know what to do, but it's light in this room, so I'ma go in here. Survey? Error? No survey. Is the survey over? Am I just a paranormal investigator now? Okay, well I'm supposed to be in here. Probably. I can't get out of here. So... Hide. No. According to a recent poll, oh, no. infidelity no. is at an all-time high. No. This may be due to marrying too young, lack of commitment, or even financial instability. No, 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 no. Turn off. Let us examine the story of Joseph and Mary Walker, the two married and bore a daughter, Lilith who was very talented in many artistic mediums, especially in painting. Joseph and Mary also had a son named Marcus. Joseph worked as a construction worker, while Mary worked as a secretary for a local business. Hurry it up, guy. Static makes her ears bleed. Her parents encouraged her greatly to continue and perfect her skills. 
eventually a high enough demand for her paintings allowed the walkers to become financially stable, simply by selling Lilith's art. Both Joseph and Mary quit their jobs, as Lilith's paintings sold anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 a piece, depending on the buyer. I know all of this. Due to this high demand, Joseph Other than the and Mary prices. began to live life far above their means taking advantage of their gifted child in order to satisfy their own greed. It started off with Joseph burning markets with cigarettes if Lilith refused to work. Slowly, the abuse became worse and more intense, until one episode landed Marcus in the hospital. Marcus had several bruises along with a dislocated arm. The family was forced to cover up the incident and no charges were filed. This abuse continued for a long time. Marcus grew accustomed to it. It was simply a part of his life, just as much as breathing or sleeping. After Lilith was diagnosed with a rare bone condition, everything changed. She lost her ability to paint, leading the family into a period of financial hardship. Joseph wasn't able to find work due to his alcoholism, but Mary was able to find a job at her old company. Her former employer kept in touch with her throughout the years. Tension began to build within the family. Marcus usually remained passive among family affairs, but the situation gave him much joy. They were suffering, and he knew it. He couldn't have been happier. 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 Okay. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. The lights are gonna go off now? Can you shut off? Shut off. Shut off, please? Shut off. Shut off. Shut. Oh my god. I can't shut the TV off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know how to help. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. If I could turn it off, I would. If I could... Mother of God, shit Christ. Turn off the TV! Oh no! We're staying in here. We're staying in here. We're staying in here. Lilith, Note 5, hold on. Hold on. There we go. My parents gave me the news, so I have this condition called fibrodysplasia of fish in, of fi, of ossificans progressiva. Fibrodysplasia. Basically, it's a condition where my soft tissue, ligaments, tendons, and muscles gradually turn into bone. They said it, that eventually I'll lose mobility in my arms, legs, neck, everywhere until I need a caretaker So basic, to basically do everything for me. Right now, I feel it in my arm and torso. 
For now, I just sort of lay in my bed. It hurts to walk around, and I can't really exercise or damage my body in any way, or else it'll speed up the process. I mean, I'm only 15, so this is a lot to take in, knowing that I'll slowly become more and more immobile. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? I wish that I could stop painting, or that I wouldn't have to anymore. And this was the answer I received. The best they could do was prescribe medication for the pain. A year from now, there is a good chance that I won't be able to walk, and I'll be in a wheelchair, or worse. I just hope my family will be stable without my help. I'll be a pretty big burden. The other day, I overheard my parents arguing. My mom brought up the idea of getting a divorce. I feel like this is all my fault. Lilith. Dude, I am so sad for these two kids, man. Uh. Can I turn you off now? Of course not. Of course not. Guess we're going back downstairs. <laughs> I don't really know what to do. Yeah, Lilith, you're fucking sad. I get it. Relax. Checking all the closets. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I thought I was moving a box. In here? Hasn't been. Yeah, okay. Alright. Hasn't been much popping off in the laundry room. Oh, that was, uh, unpleasant. Marcus Note 3. I overheard them talking about what Lilith's condition was. Apparently, as she has some sort of bone disorder, basically her body keeps becoming more and more immobilized until she's basically paralyzed. The process can take a while, but it continually gets worse and worse. They seem very worried about it. As far as I know, Lilith won't be able to paint. I wonder what will happen. Mom and Dad were screaming at each other the other day. I've never seen them argue like that. It was quite entertaining seeing them bicker and yell. I had a wide grin across my face as I watched the spectacle. My parents have been trying to find work ever since they heard the news, but only my mom has been able to find a job with her old employer. Dad hasn't had any luck. This is quite an unfortunate situation. I did a bit more research on the condition and it seems incurable. My parents seem like they're in a state of panic. I've never seen them like this before. Frantic, scared, and unstable. I've never been more excited in my life. Marcus, bro. I mean, I get it, man. You got some wires in your brain crossed because of the way you've been treated your whole life. So it makes sense, but bro, you need to relax a little, you know? Bathroom. There was a note in here. Has there been a note in here? Yep, there was a note in here. There hasn't been a note in this bathroom. Where did the note at? Going back downstairs, it is. 
I know. Sad, sad cry. Sad, sad cry. Hey, sis. Oh, no, sis. No. No, you fucking stay where you... Oh, my God. Oh, shitty balls, dude. Where is... Oh, my God. Okay, sis. Okay. Fucking stop. My mom showed him the divorce paperwork and he was livid. I've never seen my dad this furious. His bloodshot eyes trembling in fear because he knew how powerless he was against her decision. Oh, he kept taking beer bottles and smashing them against the kitchen table after he heard the news. She said she was tired of having him just drinking all day and not contributing to the family at all. I left a little surprise for him in the car. He'll find out while he's driving. Oh my god, bro. Well, for now, I guess it'll just be Mom, Lilith, and I. She asked me to get a part-time job since we'll need the money to help with Lilith's medical bills. I don't mind working, even though I'm still in high school. I'll be pretty busy, but I guess I'll just have to deal with it. It'll be hard, though. I went to the doctor the other day, and he examined my shoulder. Turns out I've had a torn rotator cuff for a while now, but I've never been able to get it checked out because of Dad. I haven't been able to rotate my arm past 90 degrees without feeling this tearing sensation on the back of my shoulder. Thanks, Dad. I guess in the end, everybody gets what they deserve. Marcus. Bro, you are, you are, I am, we are a diabolical ass little piece of crap, dude. But I get it. I don't want to hear the song again. No, I... I'm going to go away from this song. I don't like the song. Fuck the song. I'm going to read in the corner. Suicide No. Oh, God. It's, it's been hard the last year. I've been working overtime almost every week at my job ever since the divorce just to cover everything. Lilith, well... She was bedridden and relied on Marcus for just about everything. Marcus was attending college and working at the same time. I went on a business trip for about a week, and I didn't get the news until I came home. The house caught fire. I was told that Lilith died a horrific death, burning alive as the flames consumed her. They said the fire started in her room, most likely by a candle that was tipped over. The neighbors said that... All they heard was a haunting scream like an animal that knows its death is approaching. Everything is gone. My kids. My house. Did I, did I deserve this? I was so blinded by greed. I'm a horrible person. I let my son be abused for years just to force my daughter to paint and make myself money. I guess Joseph got what was coming to him, and now it's my turn. I just wish I could watch over them. Mary Walker. My... God, this is tragic. Hey. Hey, bud. I don't want to hear the song, though. That was the end of the song. I'm Joseph, back with an update concerning our latest story. A drunk driver was recently killed in an accident outside a local liquor store. According to friends and family, the man had been going through a divorce with his wife. Probably trying to drink his sorrows away, he swerved off the road crashing his car into a tree. Officers have noted that there might have been tampering involved with the braking system of the vehicle. Fortunately, the individual suffered greatly while dying. I know a certain someone that would be happy to know so. 
Don't worry, I'm stuck as well. This was Joseph, bringing the local news. Okay. I mean, this game had subtle tinges of dark to it, but all of a sudden it's just pow right in your fucking face with the with the with the tragedy and the darkness and the oh oh. Okay, how you doing? Uh, are your ears bleeding? Uh, I assume I was supposed to come in here. I don't really know. Can I turn this off? I cannot turn this off still. Okay. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna close that. It was supposed to close. I'm one step ahead of ya. Sis. Can... The... Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I can't turn that on. Uh uh. This lit. They are. There's smoke coming from them. Oh, oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Uh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not in here. I'm not in here. You can't find me. Sis? 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 Hello? Sis? Sister? Oh, there's a note on the floor. I didn't get to read the last one. What's gonna happen when I pick it up? I don't care. I don't care. We're gonna go to the bedroom reading corner. There's some crying. Okay. Documents. Uh, okay. It's been almost a year since I've been diagnosed. It's gotten worse recently. I'm losing control of hands, so it's getting quite difficult to write. One day I wake up and I'm unable to move a certain part of my body. It's a bit horrifying having all your muscles, ligaments, and tendons slowly turn into bone. Oh, God. I can't help you. I can't. I can't help you. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Marcus has been taking care of me. I feel like I'm such a burden to him. On top of school, his part-time job, and taking care of me, he seems so busy. Mom's been working overtime almost every weekend just to help with my medical bills. I mean, we have insurance, and we still have some money left over from my paintings, but it's still getting... Oh, oh, it's still getting pretty tough to pay for everything. I can't talk anymore. I'm pretty much... I can't walk anymore, so I'm pretty much confined to my bed most of the time. My favorite part of the day is when my brother comes in to check on me. Hopefully, he'll never read this. This is embarrassing, but I feel like I'm holding him back. After Dad died, he just seemed to get so much more... Al he just seemed so much more alive. I guess he got what he deserved, but this is my punishment. But is this my punishment, too? Okay, all right. Time to, time to read. Oh, it's so much reading. I can barely keep up with everything. I was accepted into the university that I really wanted to attend, but I decided not to go through with it. If I did leave, no one would be here to take care of my sister. If I'm being honest, I wish I could leave. I want to move on and just forget about her, mom, dad, all of them. I've decided to attend this community college first and then transfer to a university afterwards to save money. Also, I won't be in ton, a ton of debt after I graduate, so that'll be nice. Last night, I saw something a bit disturbing as I made my way to my room. Lilith's door was slightly ajar, and I could also hear this high-pitched scraping sound. It was my sister scraping her nails against the wall. I turned the light on, and, she, and there was blood covering her hand. She was running the tips of her fingers across the wall, up to the point where her fingernails were now loosely attached to her finger. He seemed so out of touch with reality. I looked at her other hand, but it was bent in an awkward position, her wrist bending toward her body while her fingers looked stiff. This thing in my house. I don't think it's my sister. My sister was a painter, a talented girl with immense potential. Her eyes gradually turned toward me. I felt them almost reaching out to me, pleading for comfort. I gave her none. Yikes, bro. Yikes. I... Oh, you're open. Dude. Can I... Can I shut... Can I shut you? I can't... Oh, I can... I can walk around it. Thank you. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. going on what's going on what's going on oh is the house gonna be on fire now what's going on what's going on God is dead. Yeah. God is dead. God is dead. Uh huh. Uh huh. My mom is leaving for about a week. She's going on a business trip, so she's leaving me in charge to take care of the house and my sister. I check on her briefly about once or twice a day just to make sure she's still alive. I might forget to check throughout the week, though. It's such a chore taking care of her. Why can't she just die already? <laughs> Am I wrong for saying that? Because of her talent, her God-given gift to paint, it destroyed our family. Without it, everything would be normal. In the end, everybody gets what they deserve, and she's getting her end right now. Dad received his, 
and mom is breaking her back just to make ends meet. I wonder what my end will have in store. Who knows, maybe I'll get the worst ending of them all. I realized that my hatred for her was wrong and unjustified. It wasn't her fault. She was born with that skill. I feel guilty that I enjoy hearing and seeing her in pain. It's an, Im it's an immature reaction for so, for so long. I wished for someone to feel my suffering. I would get beatings almost every week with my mom and sister just watching it. It was almost entertaining thinking of what I could tell people at school when they asked about the cuts and bruises. Now it's a little different, I guess. I'm in control, and she's the helpless one. I don't really believe in a heaven or hell, but if one exists, I'll probably end up in the latter. Uh, last Lilith. This will be the last letter I write. I can feel my hand becoming immobile and stiff. Mom left a couple days ago, and it's been up to Marcus to take care of me. Even though his visits have been getting shorter and less frequent over the last few months, I understand I'm just a burden to him and my mom. He checked up on me. He hasn't checked up on me ever since she left. I've tried everything, knocking and banging my hand against the wall, screaming. I mean, that's all I really can do since I'm practically immobile. Sometimes I get my hopes up hearing him walk up the stairs. Just maybe he'll walk through the door and check on me. Did I deserve this for not standing up to my parents and letting all this happen? All of this? It's my fault. I'm sorry, Marcus. I promise I'll never be a burden to you ever again. Fuck me, bro. All right. Okay. Okay. Sis, where you at? Where are you? Huh? This is it, right? This is the fire? This is... Are we doing another fire? Huh? Is this it? I can't turn any of the lights on. Is this it? Is this our fire time? Huh? Fire time? Sister? Sister? Where are you at, sister? Huh? Yeah, you're right. Sis, how's it going? Sis? Sis. I can't. I can't go that way. Sis. Sis. Fucking relax, bruh. Fucking what do now? Marcus Note 7. Life is pretty quiet to be honest right now. Between school and work it's a bit stressful but it's not as bad as before. Mom is set to come home in a few days. It was nice having the house to myself for a week. I'll admit sometimes it gets eerily quiet and sometimes I hear those soft knocks coming from the walls. Other times I'll hear crying and sobbing. Sometimes even screaming. Forming an autopsy, it was confirmed that the fire led to her death, but officials also found something strange. Her body was starving. What officials think occurred was during her final moments as an act of desperation she lit a candle inside her room and started the fire herself. Her younger brother, Marcus Walker, might have neglected her to such a degree. She chose to end her life to ease her suffering. 
emotions range Dude. from jealousy, hatred, enviousness, and frustration might have drove him to neglect her, despite her cries for help. Due to her rare disorder, she was extremely immobile and required help for the simplest activities. She required Marcus for everything. Marcus might have held animosity towards her, as for almost his whole life, everyone had paid their attention to her. Perhaps Marcus wanted her to feel isolated and alone, an emotion he was very familiar with. He wanted vengeance for a crime she didn't commit. Marcus's body was mostly unharmed, though he was not conscious at the scene. He was taken to a local hospital, where he currently resides. He is currently in a coma induced by smoke inhalation and has been unconscious ever since the fire. No one knows when, or if, he will ever wake up or what he is experiencing. He could be experiencing nothing at all, or he might be suffering. The only living relative he had was his mother, Mary Walker, who committed suicide shortly after she heard about the incident. His father, Joseph Walker, was killed in a suspicious road incident where his brakes stopped working while driving under the influence. Due to his unusual situation, no one is left to decide whether or not they should keep him alive in his coma. Many may wonder whether he regrets his actions, whether he regrets neglecting his sister, starving her, and psychologically torturing her to the point of suicide. Others speculate that years of domestic abuse by his father Joseph, along with neglect from his family, left him psychologically scarred. Yeah. Whatever the case may be, he tortured and isolated his sister. His sister, who loved him, and did everything necessary to protect him. Hopefully all members of the family get what they deserve. In Marcus's case, he's stuck in his own personal purgatory stuck in a place between life and death, an eternity of suffering awaits him. Thank you for listening. This was Joseph Walker, bringing your local news to you. Oh, hey, sis, hey. Hey, hi, you, how are you? Oh my god, dude. What, what? But if that's my sister, how is she... I mean, she's moving terribly, but how is she moving? My god. Oh man, okay. Well... That game was pretty cool. I liked that a lot, to be honest. Um, it was spoopy. It had... It had good pacing. The story ended up just twisting in... into this darker and darker... just fucked up just absolutely vile sort of fashion and it was great i i really liked the story it was messed up for sure uh marcus really took a turn there you know Th this was good this 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 was great Uh, yeah. I'm definitely gonna do more spoopy games, for sure. I'm glad it stopped crashing on me. I was giving it one more shot, and I was gonna just stop playing for good. And it's last shot, it made it all the way through. Very happy about that. Um, yeah. If you liked what you saw, comment, like. Subscribe, ring that bell so you know when more scary games pop up. You know what I'm saying? You want to know? You want to see me be a little scaredy, scaredy cat bitch?
you know? Uh, yeah. This has been cool. I liked it. But, yeah. Do all those things. Help me grow as, as, as a channel. Help me create more for you. You know? It's a win-win here. We both want this. So come on. Let's do it together. Me and you. But thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Uh, your support means everything. I hope you have a good, good one tonight for me. So I hope you have a good night. And yeah, I'll see you around.